Ah, you guys ever just wake up and get scared of an esports company slash parent company slash organization? That would be Astralis for me. What's up, everybody? Good morning, afternoon, good evening for all you European people out there. Welcome back to more esports talk. Today we talk about Astralis being the first organization slash company to now be taken to the IPO. That's the public stock market. First going to be the NASDAQ sometime in late this year of 2019. The first, to my knowledge, esports organization slash company division to do so, and that's going to be the Astralis. Astralis Group. For all of you guys who are not aware of this, they're most well known for their CSGO roster. Currently not number one in the world, but by many regards out there, the number one of all time CSGO rosters, the most winning in terms of CSGO rosters. We will see how them being taken to the stock market for public investment will affect those five CSGO players because if you guys are not aware, they have partial ownership or ownership of their CSGO team. So we'll see how those players even further benefit from this possible public investment and going to the stock market. They're also known for League of Legends in the LEC. That's the or team origin. They've also been owned by the Astralis Group. And then FIFA, their brand is still growing there, known as the Future FC. So that's the Astralis Group. That's actually completely separate from Refresh Entertainment. If you guys were here a couple months ago, that's when the Astralis Group actually separated from Refresh Entertainment because of a conflict of interest. And that same guy actually tied to that conflict of interest. They've actually had a, a few uh, conflicts of interest in their past as well, and a few conflicts with the Astralis name in general, which is why they do scare me. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm not excited for this. I, I truly am. This is actually a great step forward and certainly one that I think a lot of organizations slash companies in esports were probably leaning towards in the future. Uh, typically, of course, we have esports organizations. They take investments from either investment groups or a few select investors who take that a percentage of the company themselves as individuals. We never had before, at least to my knowledge, an entire company open up to the public to take on many, many investors who could be, well, a part of the community and also then take a share and their own share of Astralis Group. So it's very exciting to see what they will do. If you guys do not know Astralis in the past, they tried to own multiple CSGO teams. That was Nick Sade. Now they only own one CSGO team. They also had the conflict of trying to take over the entire CSGO tournament scene. They're still trying to do so, but as a separate company, that being Refresh Entertainment, they've already announced a $4.25 million plus tournament league for next year of CSGO. They're doing great things. They're certainly expanding as an overall company or division, whatever you do want to call it. And this is just one step further into that guys as they will be announcing an IPO sometime late in 2019 and I, I'm approaching this very very eh, because their CEO all you CSGO fans probably know about Nicola he was involved in the controversy the conflict around the Astralis name itself he's now made statements about their future they'll continue to actually flush currency and money into the scene more facilities more commercial platforms so on and so forth the typical speech you expect when you make this kind of announcement to pro obviously provoke public investment I am just super weary about what this means for other companies out there, other esports organizations who typically, as I said before, in their rounds A, B, C of funding, they can raise 10, 20, 100 million dollars in funding for the organization to put forth into other esports facilities, uh, streaming platforms, into other, of course, players and creators, so on and so forth. As we've seen countless times, the first time though, we now see public investment to obviously have a sway or a hand in these organizations. I'm, I'm very weary where this will go in the future, especially at a time in place where the stock market who knows where that might go? Who knows how many investors could be pissed off and what expectations will be actually portrayed upon a group like Astralis of what money you put in and what money you get out, which leaves a giant question. What can Astralis actually promise or bring back a return to their investors, right? We obviously know esports organizations besides that of maybe FaZe Clan and a few others, they've had, as we've heard from FaZe Banks and FaZe Apex, they have had months where they've been profitable, maybe not overall making money either. And yes, there are plenty of big companies out there that are not making money yet, but esports organizations in particular, they are cash burners. They spend money like they want to make, they spend money like crazy. It's no secret guys. And so as an investor, you got to look at that very clearly. And I hope that things are not overinflated, oversaturated and over invested into. And all of a sudden we have a Strauss group and their, their evaluation is just way too far out. I am just very curious where this will go. What kind of evaluation we'll see the Strauss group at once this actually does go public to the NASDAQ and what's going to happen when it comes time for returns to these investors and what returns they will be seeing is a giant 
giant looming mystery to this. Me and Zan talked about it already on the podcast as well. You might see that clip sometime in the future. When you actually open this up to the IPO, you open up your entire books and make yourself a bit more public than before. And so we really could see where all these funds are going, where all these returns are coming from, and how much money Astralis is bringing in and how much they're actually making in terms of profit as well. Astralis, to my knowledge, do become the first esports organization or group to now pursue an IPO or a publicly traded stock out there. This means big things for esports, but it also means some big skeptical things for esports, and we'll see where it goes and if other esports groups or organizations or divisions do follow suit. What do you guys think about this? As always, breaking down other game and esports news here every single day. Until next time, I'll be back here, well, very shortly. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.